Hello guys, welcome back to another problem solving video. So today I'm going to show you on how to solve the problem where you cannot open your Final Cut Pro 10's library. So you double click on your library and find that it quit. Your Final Cut just quit unexpectedly. So let's right click on this library and if you know which file is corrupt, in this case the film burn one, you just select this and select current version dot flexo library and just delete it and when you restart your Final Cut Pro 10, it should be doing well, it should be fine. If not, you have to select almost all the events and yeah, in this case you have to delete them and don't worry, you still can drag them back because they are in the trash folder. Yeah, I left with this Dolly Zoom event and I restart and if it's fine, I'm just gonna drag one or two events back from the trash folder and test it out. And let's assume eventually I find the corrupt file, which in this case is the film burnt one. You just delete this film burnt corrupted file like just now and restart your Final Cut Pro 10 and it should be fine. Alternatively, if you want to fix the corrupt file, if you have something very important, you just close the library, yep, like this, and then open library, and yeah, you can see that there are already two or three folders here. You just create a new one, select new, then you just click on save, and then a new library will be created. And then in this new library, you can always rename your library. In this case, I'm just gonna rename LC Media 1. And then, yep, I'm just gonna create a new event and change the event name to Film Burn, which is the corrupt file, the corrupt event, and change the format to 4K, like the previous one, the actual corrupt event. And you can always choose not to create a new project. In this case, I'm just not gonna create a new project. And let me delete the extra one, like this, yep. And after that, quit your Final Cut Pro, go to the original one and copy the film burned event and click on the new one, right click and show package content and merge or replace the folder which is film burn here. In this case, I'm just gonna merge the file because I think it's going to work well actually. And then I'm going to the backup folder and choose the latest backup and right click on it and show package content. And I'm going to find the film burn folder and choose this current version.fcp event. And then I'm just gonna copy this event file, this dot event file, and go to the new folder, open show all package content, and then go to the film burn event, and then I'm just gonna paste the current version.fcp event here and click on replace and restart my Final Cut Pro 10. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to go back to another earlier version of the backup folder and I'm just gonna copy paste the FCP event file, the current version thing again and test it out. So once you reopen Final Cut Pro, all you need to do is just relink all the media if imported previously and that's done. Thank you for watching and please check out my channel. Bye bye.